Gemini. Let's jump into it and see what's coming up first and foremost. In love, Gemini. definitely feel like someone might be wanting to come back uh, with a second chance which I sort of mentioned in the general uh, the fact that I feel like someone is going to be working hard to to be there behind you I feel like they're still around they're still orbiting you and then you also have the past with the death card here as well now it could be a Scorpio which has come up here um, or any of the general signs I suppose it can be any sign really uh, but I feel like someone that you've lost or you thought that you've lost or someone that's thought they've lost you there is a reconciliation that's taking place okay um, and I feel like if you're going to clear the air with this person someone is going to come in and judgment will be made judgment will be passed um, it's either they wanting they're wanting to right their wrongs or you're wanting to right your wrongs and i feel like that's sort of connected to healing with the star card here gems so judgment i feel like it's there's a karmic reason why this person might be coming back into your life emotionally you might be still tied to them maybe you still think about them from time to time um but i feel like someone's going to be working hard to show you that they still care especially if they've deceived you or there was a third party situation for some of you it might be a situation like you might have tried things out with your ex and it didn't work and then you might go back to this person or vice versa this person tried things out with an ex um, it didn't really work and hence why they might be back around you um, so I, I do feel like for a lot of you there's someone who's going to be working really hard in the physical to gain your attention but for others I do see an ending taking place okay let's not ignore the fact that you've got the death card here um, major endings major transitions especially with the six of swords you're moving away from a situation a relationship or a person there could be breakups is heralding a major change in your love life and there's the movement that I see here with the six of swords now it could be that someone wants to move forward with you or it could be that there is a separation and you're moving away from someone for some of you there might be a geographical distance uh, that will come in between you and your lover might be a fellow air sign a gemini libra or an aquarius aquarius libra had come up here as well in the general um, but it could also be an opportunity to get to connect with someone uh, through a trip or a holiday um, if this has been a long distance thing you might be reconnecting with this person okay there could be a reconciliation it might come out of the blue like you weren't really expecting it um, for some of you the six of swords can be a journey and because the king of pentacles can represent an asset or a new living situation maybe some of you might be moving into uh moving in together with someone or they might be proposing these ideas um, around you but i do feel with the eight of eight of pentacles there is a lot of hard work or dedication that's happening in a relationship or there's someone around you who's trying really really hard gemini to get you to notice them Maybe you're still dwelling on another person. You're still fixated on something else. Maybe you're not ready to move forward because you're still in some way attached to the past. But I think that you're going to start to see someone really, really interested. And this person could be coming in through work somehow. You might be working together. You might have previously been connected through work. Uh, maybe you have a business together. Or you know them through the community somehow. Um, I also want to say secrets might be coming out as well. Things might be exposed about a person or knowledge or information or your secrets might be exposed because the death card is Scorpio and this can be the subconscious or this can be like the skeletons in the closet. You can see what's what's epitomized as the Grim Reaper here as this ske um, skeletal being. So, I mean, it could be translated into secrets coming out, skeletons in the closet, um, could absolutely be that. But the death card brings a religious tone. Um, as does the judgment card uh, a religious turn to a connection here so some of you are going to celebrate an anniversary maybe uh, some of you might have someone wanting to start some sort of tradition with you uh, someone might be want to become more traditional with you or you might notice that you're becoming more traditional that someone around you is evoking these feelings um, and suddenly you're finding yourself doing things you wouldn't normally do page of cups can lead to surprises here so there might be surprises in this regard um 
I feel like there is improvement in communication, okay? So I feel you're on the path to more effective or more intimate communication with someone special. And for some of you, I feel like there could be someone that might have a secret crush on you or that they've kept hidden and it's going to come to your knowledge. It's going to come uh, to your understanding sometime in the month. So for some of you, the judgment call, uh, the judgment card opens up. Yes, perhaps a judgment call maybe, but it also opens up the opportunity for someone to be more open because you can see the angel and it's blowing the trumpet in news. So there, there could be a major announcement there could be someone that's going to tell you something that's going to throw you off a little bit. Um, an announcement of some kind, news. Okay, he heralds the news. So that could also be coming up for a lot of you Geminis this month in love. Let's move on and have a look at your career, however. Uh, career in business. Okay, a new career path or job opportunity is coming in for some of you Geminis. You're going to be meeting someone. Okay, very nice here. Career-wise, things are definitely taking off. A lot more fortune you might be welcoming into your life here. Wheel of fortune, money, prosperity, abundance, bonuses, especially because that king of pentacles epitomizes uh, money, monetary wealth, possessions, um, and lucrative possibilities. A lot of destined changes coming in. You've got the Wheel of Fortune and the Star card uh, in the one reading here. So I feel like in career, there is a, uh, an opportunistic time because you've got divine source, divine intervention. Call it what you will, uh, whether you've attracted this using the law of attraction, whether this has been your spirit guides, your guardian angels, um, the gods, the divine realm. There is a potentially a new opportunity or a new beginning for some of you. It could be creative or there's a new beginning to launch something or a new way, an opportunistic way to get your name out there because the star card is all about awareness, fame, knowledge and inundating people with your presence. So I do feel for the most part you've come up as the queen of swords. So uh, a lot of people are going to be relying on your word or looking to you for inspiration, for guidance and or direction. If you have any job interviews coming up, it could be very, very successful. You're meeting key people. It could also be a destined Leo coming in. Um, the, two of, uh, the two of cups can represent two parties, two unions, two sides coming together um, with effective communication, clear contracts, um, clear direction with what you want and making something happen. So there's someone here who's going to help you on your path somehow, he Gemini. Um, help you create something and I did mention that partnership here with the justice card a balance I also feel if um, if you haven't been seeing eye to eye to someone in the uh, eye to eye with someone in the workplace maybe you've had a bit of a workers tiff uh, maybe there's been a lot of tense energy in the workplace I feel like you're going to actually start to get along with this person or there might be some apologies and you might be able to move forward now, for some of you, if there is a betrayal of some kind or something that's being hidden from you, I feel like someone is going to come in and hint hint at something to you. So I really feel like there's someone that's coming in with quite a protective energy uh, and they want to let you know something before it occurs. Or it's almost like they're going to inform you of something that you might have been kept out of the loop. But there is someone who might be confiding in you uh, maybe confessing something here with that two of two of cups energy. This can be a twin flame lovers union. So I do feel for a lot of you, you might be meeting someone special through career, or it could even be a workers event that you might meet someone. And they're going to help you in a major way. I feel like there's a protective energy. The lion is fiercely protective. So this person might want to protect your interests. They might want to protect your creative ideas. Uh, or something like this, but I feel like they're coming in with a lot of initiative. They might take you by storm. Uh, Leo's definitely know how to make an entrance, so I feel like it's someone that could make a very strong impression around you, uh, or you might make an impression around someone. Um, it can be about leadership as well, absolutely. Uh, for some of you, you might be working from home or starting to work from home because business is coming up around the home, or you might be turning a hobby into a, 
uh, money making opportunity here or getting more hours more flexibility more autonomy in the workplace ten of cups can be working with families children can be working from home the rainbow can represent creative flair um, very varied experiences or things that you might want to start now you're very very talented gemini um, you are the multitasker of the zodiac you are able to juggle numerous tasks um, and things uh, work opportunities, income streams, etc. So I feel for a lot of you that is coming up with the Ten of Cups um, or just settled. This is a card of feeling really settled. And again, that Wheel of Fortune, there's something about a, there's a window of time, maybe a time frame, maybe a certain time, something about divine timing that's coming in um, or it's time to work from home. It's time to focus more on things that are closely aligned with your knowledge, your education, your passion, your skills. So a lot of creativity comes up with that beautiful rainbow. Um, but harmony, harmony and reconciliation and togetherness. So if there has been a bit of uh, trouble, I suppose, in, in, in the working world, in the working environment, there's been a bit of tense issues or something at play here. Um, this could indicate that harmony Harmony is coming in uh, with the Ten of Cups energy. So that's really quite positive, but definitely a new chapter for a lot of you. I do see a contract. Uh, some of you, it could even be distant lands. You might be traveling, okay, distant exotic lands or connecting with people overseas that will have some sort of meaning because I do sense the people that you're connecting with or meeting with here with the Two of Cups they're going to make an imprint on your life and your career or creative pursuits. Could be someone you meet briefly, could be someone that guides you. Uh, nonetheless, it's going to be a source of inspiration because it's a perfect time to act. It's a very opportunistic time to get things going. That's all about fire and motivation and passion. And you're equipped with the, a wonderful attitude coming up as that Queen of Swords here, Gem. So a wonderful time in terms of career and creative pursuits or even generating more money. Um, but I will leave it at that, Gems. Thanks so much for tuning in once again.